What's up, guys? Spartan85 here. It's been a minute since I've been in this series. Uh, been a minute since I've recorded, honestly. I just got through moving and moving into a new house and all that stuff. This is actually the first video I'm recording in my new house, my new sort of studio I set up in the basement. Uh, pretty pretty nice studio. It's the nicest studio I've ever had in my entire YouTube career. So uh, I showed a couple pictures on the members page, and I'll try to show a couple pictures. Hey, we got some mushrooms here. Let's pick those up. Um, I'll show, try to show a couple pictures on the YouTube just page for everyone else to see. We'll throw those in the food box for right now. We'll try to make some spores out of those uh, when I get some dirt. It tastes like mushrooms and spores. Here's how everything's looking, though. The forge is still running. Um, we got some forged iron crafting out of that. I made some iron arrowheads. We still, forged. We still got iron smelting down. That's all working great. Um, let me see what else we got here. I do have some, I don't have any feathers. I really need to find some feathers. Uh, for the Horde Knight, I do have 80 arrows and 75 iron arrows. So I kind of would like to have some more than that. So we might go looking for feathers today a little bit. If we want, uh, maybe if we want to. So like I said, I could use a little more, a little more than that maybe. Uh, the Horde base is coming along out here. Um, I did gather up some more clay soil and stone last night so I can make some more cobblestone rocks. Um, I have I have 356 cobblestone rocks. That might be enough, maybe. Um, and if you are just tuning back in, if you missed the last episode, basically I'm making a pretty simple horde base. Uh, I saw somebody comment that they were starting off, you know, in the series, or starting off in the game and kind of curious about some simple horde bases and there's even one person that said i'd literally just run and hide on horde night because i don't feel like fighting them and honestly that's not a bad idea you don't feel like fighting the horde what's wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all so let's bring these down um so basically what i'm doing is just making a small a very simple tower is what i'm doing um and this one you don't have to uh, i'm not going to fill in three up here uh, just to save resources. What I'll do is I'll put an actual frame here. I need to make some wooden frames. Uh, where are they? Wood frames. I only have 108 wood. I do not have a lot of wood at all. So we'll bring these down. Put a wood frame there. And we'll use wood instead of there. So this doesn't have to be too high. We're not going for fall damage on the zombies. Mainly, I'm going to stand up here and just shoot down arrows on top of them. That's all I'm going to do. But the key to this base is the spikes, the sp all, all the trap damage. And I hope I have enough time to lay down as many spikes as I possibly can. So that's kind of the goal. We'll fill that in. Let's go. Uh, and I'm going to run out of cobblestone frames. Let's put another row up here. I need some more cobblestone frames. How much can we make? 38 and 57. I'm gonna make, I can only make seven more because I need more wood. Okay, well, that sucks. And honestly, I really don't need any more cobblestone. This will be the last cobblestone row I make anyway. I can just go straight to wood frames because this is about as high as they can stack the hit. If they stand on each other's head, they might hit four up. But most likely it's going to be three up, uh, three tall. That they'll be smacking with their standing on each other's heads. Which is pretty rare in this alpha, but it does happen. It does happen. And I'm out of wood. Okay, let's see how high this is. That's probably high enough. I think I'll go a couple more rows just for, you know, just for SNGs, shits and giggles. <laughs> so I need to gather some wood and... Uh, and then I might kind of venture off, look for some uh, bird's nest also. Well, I already found one bird's nest. Here's a second here. So 10, 33 feathers. Nice. I did grab some wood. Also, there's a trash pile out here. Oh, nice. Boat casings and some brass. Just kind of look around for some bird's nests real quick. Like I said, I already found two. I'd like to find maybe one more. Get 50 feathers would be nice because I have 50. What do we have here? Nit nitrate? Looks like nitrate there. Um, what? Do, oh, I thought that was a bird's nest. Nope, I guess not. That's okay. We should have an airdrop today too, and hopefully it's somewhat close, and we'll go grab that, and maybe we'll find some bird's nest on the way out to that. Okay, so I'll grab some more trees. So let's put some frames. 
up here to get back up to the top. Come on. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's grab our wood frames. I don't know. I didn't upgrade that that high. We're just going to go wood frames up here. How much cobblestone rocks do I have? I have 100. Yeah, let's save the cobblestone rocks. We'll save that. Let's go here. I honestly don't mean to upgrade these so much. Don't really need it. We're not going to be fighting cops tonight. So try to save your, your wood pile, your wood stack if you can. Because, yeah, we need it. We need it for spikes. Let me make a few more frames. I'm going to make uh, 20, 20 some on because I'll need them for the outside also. Let's go one more level. I always feel like I don't, I think I make it high enough. And then when I get down, I'm like, well, that's not very high at all. So construction tools are going up though. Nice. Look at that level. Miscellaneous crafting is level 18. Construction tools is up. Okay. Now you can use different, uh, you can use bars, you can use, um, there's different things you can do, but not a lot with wood. There's not a lot of things to make with wood to be able to shoot arrows through. A lot of it you have to make in the, um, uh, what you might call it, uh, the forge. So there are some cobblestone things you can use, but honestly wood frames at this, at this stage is probably the best. There is some arrow slits that are okay. I've never used the arrow slits. Um, so uh, there's the picket fences that I don't think you can shoot through those. There is the catwalk. That you can't shoot through those. Um, I mean, there's like said, a lot of stuff you can make, but the iron bars are really good. And then if I think Steve actually made, um, if you have some iron, which Steve made the, uh, the scrap iron, Oh, what are they called? I can't think of them now. Let me go get my iron and see if I can make those real quick. I don't know how much iron I even have. So what I was trying to think of was the scrap iron gates. Grates. I'm sorry, grates. And they make they just take raw iron, but they cost um um quite a bit to make. They make they cost 40 a piece to make. As you can see, 40. So I can only make seven of them with the raw iron that I have. So day seven, they're not maybe the best to use unless you have a bunch of raw iron, which I don't right now because I put it all in the forge. But scrap iron grates are nice. You have a big gap to shoot through. And uh, if, I think if you watch my channel enough, you've seen Steve use those scrap iron grates. So I highly recommend the grates if you're going to shoot arrows through. Well, right now we're going to use wood frames. Um, the only drawback of the grates is you can't pick them up like you can't frames. Frames, you can just pick them up and just go. So we're just going to go. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world. We're just going to go along the outside. Like I said, we're not breaking any. We're not, we're not definitely not reinventing the wheel with this base. It's, it's nothing. Oh, nothing like we're reinventing the wheel or, you know, like, ah, oh, man, Spartan built this amazing base. No, it's not that it's, uh, it's pretty basic. But I just wanted to show you guys any new players or even existing players that's played for a long time and are just looking for a quick base to throw up. Where are the wood frames? My God, they're down at the bottom. They keep moving on me. Looking for just a quick base to throw up. This one's not a bad idea. Just to, just to use. Uh, where are the wood frames? There we go. Oh, lockable inventory slots, man. One of the nice things about the new alpha. I do wish this alpha had the, had the lockable inventory sp spots. That I do wish. I did not mean to put that there. I did not mean to put that one there. Oh, man. There we go. So we'll put... We're just going to go two rows. I think two rows will be enough. Hopefully this thing doesn't fall on my head. It shouldn't. Come on. Grab you. If you guys hear any banging or noises in the background, I have a plumber working today also. Uh, in the house. So um, if you hear any banging or screeching or grunting, that's, that's, I don't have a bear in my house or anything. It's just a plumber. Everybody's going to look around. Spartan, there's a bear. Run. All right, let's go back down. Let's make like six more of these. You have to go back. Bring these down. Boom. Okay. That's it, pretty much. That's the base. Pretty simple. 
We're going to load the outside with spikes, and then we need to have a way to get up there, of course. And that's the really bad thing with spikes. you got to have a way to get up. So keep that in mind. And a tunnel would be nice. But I honestly think just I'll just do a ladder is probably what I'll do. Um, I could also just pull my way up, too, if I wanted. Um, which might be probably a better way, but the only problem is I don't have another way to get up. Let's make ladders real quick. Wooden ladders. Let's make five. We'll put them um, right... I could put them on the outside like this. Let's do this. Can I jump and get that? I cannot. So I'll have to put a frame down to grab that. So uh, the zombies can stack. Uh, and and get that so maybe let's take out the bottom let's take out the bottom rung and maybe feel a little better right there and then we'll put a frame down right here and theoretically I, yeah there we go so we'll just have to pick up those frames all we have to do hopefully i'll be able to pick them up hopefully <laughs> okay it is almost time for the airdrop to come in i'm gonna chop down some more trees real quick like i said we need wood lots and lots of wood and i want to chop down these trees that's near the base too that way they don't hang, get the zombies hung up on them at all um and plant some trees i planted a couple trees but plant some more trees too um I'm trying to think what else i need for the base i think that's about it for day seven it's it's not going to be that bad okay airdrops coming in right over there to the northeast oh it's right outside the city let's just go there right now let's go grab that thing man that's close that's one of the closest uh airdrops i've ever seen i like that seven days to die gods are smiling on me and i'm gonna look for bird's nest while i'm out here too that's a cool looking stone a little diamond looking stone <laughs> that's pretty cool so hopefully everything sounds good. You guys are kind of the test dummies on my new studio. I set everything up pretty similar to what I had. But if there is if anything that doesn't sound right, please let me know. So if my voice is too loud or too dim, if the, the game is too loud or not loud enough or whatever, just please let me know. Only way I know is if you guys tell me. I mean, I will go back and watch it, of course, but um, it, does, it does help to know feedback and stuff like that. So... Oh, you know, I forgot about this. Uh, I forgot. Oh, there's a bird's nest. Yeah, 16 feathers. Oh, there's another one. Even more. Awesome. I forgot about this factory here, too. I wanted to raid. I'd like to raid that factory before I leave town. I just can't remember what's in that factory. Got some uh, red tea, or some red flower while we're out here. Make some more of that. Some trash. Ooh, that sounds like some zombies. They're all stuck on uh, buildings. Is that the well bunker? Yes, I do remember that now. I don't. I, I do remember seeing that. So, I do have the sledgehammer that I can repair and go raid that. Ooh, there's a piggy. Ah, uh, he's getting away. Lob an arrow. He's still going, isn't he? Yeah, okay. All right. All right, shotgun slug schematic. That's a great one. It also unlocks bullet tips and bullet casings. That's a really good one to find. Beaker, a couple first aid kits, and painkillers. Awesome. That's a good one. Well, and I, so I would like to raid that bunker now that I have the... Uh, sledgehammer. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow before we leave. These are right... The two places I want to raid are right next to each other. Another bird's nest. Only five feathers. That's okay. Huh. Okay, well, let's make... Um, let's make some traps. Let me get over here so I don't attract a bunch of zombies. Um, I'm leaning towards making the good traps... See, we have barbed wire fence. We have barbed wire. Um, how many wood spikes can I make? 
13, oh, 13, that's it. Ooh, they are so freaking expensive. Let's make 13 of them, and we'll chop down some more trees. Uh, man, that sucks. I need to make another stone axe also. Uh, can I go ahead and make that now? Yeah, let's make another stone axe. Um, and so we need to gather wood and make more spikes. And that's basically what I'm we'll going to be doing, is making, making a bunch of spikes. Uh, I'll line the bottom of the base with, with the wood wood log spikes. I think that looks cool. I think it looks menacing as... Menacing as... Yes, you... As... Menacing as fuck, I'll just say it. My God, I'm trying not to cuss as much, because I know YouTube kind of doesn't like it sometimes, but... Uh, and I know kids watch my videos and stuff. So I try not to cuss too much if I can, because, you know, I, I know there's a lot of kids out there watching me and stuff. And that's all I need is I'm going to tell their parents. I learned it from Spartan. Ah. It's like, <laughs> hey, we have some skill points to spend, though. Let's load those up. Skill points. Sexy Rexy. That is a good one. Do we want to go sexy? Re what about Pummel Pete? Let's go Pummel Pete. Since I'm still using the uh, Barb Club, let's do that. Um, how many of these wood log spikes can I make real quick? Let me see how many I can make. Ten? That's a good start. I need more than that. These little things, these little wood things, they give you a little bit of wood. They give you, you know, I don't know, 25, 26, whatever. Let's, oh, see, I'm make, I don't have a new stone axe yet. Because it's behind the uh, the spikes. So I got a ways to go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue gathering wood. I'm going to put some spikes up. And I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Okay, I got some wood spikes. Well, spikes. Spikes. I can't talk spikes. So, yeah, just right trigger these. Most people know this. But we're going to put some, put some spikes here like this. Just right trigger. You can turn them like that. Boom. What's nice about this is when they run into them, it'll make them crawlers, even though they hit them with their chest and stuff. So, and it, like I said, it looks cool, too. It looks menacing. Really cool. It also help when they jump up there, and I have some spikes making uh, crafting right now. These. So we'll put these um, right here. Probably not a good idea to put those down quite yet, because I'm still waiting. So we'll wait to put these down. Let's let them craft. I have some more spikes behind it. Uh, just want to show you guys that. That's what I do on the bottom. Put some spikes down. And like I said, this should be really hoping that the base does a lot of the killing for me. Or make some crawlers. So, but man, day seven. I know I've said it already, but day seven is such a small horde. I mean, you can stand on top of a rock. <laughs> if you find a good enough rock and stand up there and they won't, they won't get to you. So... Not really too worried about it. Oh, here's some more spikes here. We'll bring these down. Finish this up. Like that. And like I said, we'll put them on the bottom too. Kind of flattens your ground out a little bit. Makes your ground look a little better too. Which is kind of cool. Sometimes you got to pick up the cotton. You can't place it down. So just remember that. Pretty aggravating sometimes when you're trying to place something down and there's like cotton in the way. It's like, what? Right there, right there, right there. Cool, now we can place these down. I so said we'll put these around the outside. These do more damage and you can upgrade these too. If you have some iron. Are these the ones you can upgrade? I take that back. You can make iron ones. My bad. I think the new alpha, you can upgrade these, I believe. A little mistake in there, I guess. Sorry, guys. What happens when you play two alphas? <laughs> you get things confused. Put that down. That's all the spikes I have of those. They take a lot of resources to make. So I have more of these. So we'll just fill the gaps in with this, and then we'll go, we'll make another layer of these. And these are great spikes. I mean, they make them crawlers so freaking easy, and they will die on these spikes, too. They will die on these. 
So, and they got rid of these in the new alpha. New alphas don't have these spikes. Kind of, kind of sad. They're they're just gone. How many more rugger spikes can I make? Only see only three. They cost a hundred a piece. I can make fifteen of these. It's just a big difference. Big freaking difference. So. There's going to be no trees nearby, by the way. There's going to be no trees nearby this base when I'm done. <laughs> okay, back at base, I have 51 iron arrowheads. So we'll get those down, Make bring those down. We're going to make some more iron arrows, and then we'll turn the rest into just stone. Ah, I hate to turn them into stone arrows, but I need arrows. So let's turn those into stone arrows. We'll find some more feathers. And then I have some forged iron somewhere. Yes, I do. So we're going to repair. I can't repair it. That's right. Oh, see, I thought I could repair that. I cannot. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'll make a new bow and I'll make a new um, barb club. So I will bring my forged iron with me. Do that. Uh, we can bring some torches over. Throw those up. Let's bring, let's make sure we are... Fully healthed up. Healthed. Healthed up. That's a that's a new verb I just came up. Healthed. It's a verb. Eat that. I have some uh I have charred meat and I have but I thought I made some grilled meat. Did I make some grilled meat? Huh. I swear I made some grilled meat. I don't know where it went. Huh. Well, maybe I'm Guess I'm losing my mind, guys. We'll see this charred meat. It's fine. It does give you a little bit of wellness. I mean, very little. So we'll do that. And then you can drink another golden rod. Bring that wellness up a little bit more. So we'll bring uh we'll bring some blood bags. I'll bring painkillers just in case I need them. I don't think I'm gonna need them. Really, really don't. Um I have a pistol already. 762, I can't shoot anything out of it. Uh, and also, somebody did bring up, like, hey, dummy, you're not using your calipers. Um, I have two calipers in storage. I'm kind of saving them for the other uh, other forges or to smelt them down in the forge. But I do have my calipers in the forge, by the way. So just whoever was pointing that out, I think I did respond to them to say, hey, yeah, my calipers are in there. But just so you guys know. Um, okay, let's run over to the horde base. Weaponsmithing's level 20. That's that's pretty good. I am not going to complain about that. Do I have any wood on my my inventory? I do. I have some wood. A little bit. 461. I should make some more spikes. I have a little bit of time. I could make a few more spikes. Let's, uh, okay, so let's go to weapons. Let's make a new bow. Let's make a new barb club. We'll scrap the old one. Level 193 bow. And that's going to take two minutes to make. Oh, dang, that sucks. I was hoping to have a little time to put some more spikes down. There she is, though. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Like I said, first horde night, it'll, it'll do some damage. It'll do quite a bit of damage. I'll tell you what, let me cancel. Let me cancel the barb club. Let me just make a couple more traps. Where's the uh, traps at? Tools and traps. How many can I make? I can make 22. I just want to make like, I don't know, 10. Boom. Okay, cool. We'll make like 10. We'll throw these down. Hopefully I have time to do this. Now, they like to spawn from the north northeast now somebody in the comments brought up a good point that each horde night it rotates so it might start northwest northeast but then it'll rotate and that might make sense because that happened with me and steve so it started they started northwest and then it rotated to like the northeast so maybe something i need to test so let's kind of see where they spawn this horde that's what i'm kind of getting at Okay, let's make that Iron Reinforced Club. Go to Weapons. I'm sorry, uh, Barb Club is what I meant. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm going to jump up here. So once you jump on this one, grab that right there. Jump up here. I don't know that I'm going to grab these. I'm going to try. Nope, 
I can't grab them. That's all right. Oh, man. Can I shoot them? No, I can't. Well, hopefully they can't make it up here. <laughs> we might be having some fun if they make it up here. Oh, boy. Oh, I brought these torches and I didn't use them. Let's see if I can drop down without hurting myself. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't break a leg, though. Didn't break a leg. Put a torch there. Put a torch there. Ooh, almost hit a spike. We'll light this thing up. Make it look all nice. Nice and presentable. Oh, yeah. Look at that. With the blood moon behind it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, do I have any frames? I do. Okay. At least pick this one up. At least pick that one up. At least, like I said, then they can't at least get to you that way. So let's bring down in my hot bar. Uh, let's bring down the beer. Bring down the first aid kit. Yeah, I'll get the beer down there. I'm going to be drinking beer to help out the stamina a little bit. And then we'll get the iron arrows loaded up. Boom. Can I make a new stone axe while I'm up here? Let's see. Let's make a new stone axe. Get those, get that level building up a little bit. Level 102 stone axe. Nice. Okay. And uh, now we just wait a few minutes. All right, here we go. Here's the horde. That's the signal. Usually it's northwest corner. Okay, not everybody at once. Okay, here we go. Ah, north. It's like north. Is that what we're looking like? Yeah, straight north. It's sort of northwest a little bit. Look at them hit those spikes. That's the only problem with them spotting in one area is they're going to destroy these spikes super fast. The spikes on this side. That's okay, though. Just shoot through these little cracks. You can pick up You can pick up a frame if you want, if you want to shoot through them, but I try to pick a zombie and just stick to that zombie, but I'm also have, like, severe ADHD, and I'll just move on. <laughs> so... I'll just move on to another zombie. I'm like, oh, squirrel. Like, I want to kill this crackhead right there. Okay, he's dead. Move on to somebody else. He's dead. He died on the spikes. Harold died on the spikes. A lot of crawlers. Come on, guys. Stop moving. Let me shoot you. But yeah, look, I mean, look at this. I mean, easy, easy Horde Knight. I prefer pit bases in this alpha. I just love the fall damage and, you know, they, they, they just run, literally run to the pit in this alpha. It's so, so easy, so much fun, but this is a good one too. Easy one to build. And you can make it more simple than I did. You don't have to make it as tall as I did. I made mine pretty tall, but you don't have to do that. Just keep in mind they can... Um, you know, stack sometimes. They get stacked on top of the spikes sometimes, too. You gotta, be, you gotta be careful about that. And if they start destroying one side, just move to the other side, they'll eventually spawn, or they'll not spawn, but they'll move to that other side, so you can destroy those spikes over there, so. Got some spinners. Old spinners. Oh, she's dead. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can draw them over to these spikes over here. There we go. See, she's gonna crawl. Crawl across those spikes. There you go. She's kind of attacking my frames a little bit, isn't she? A couple over here. Oh yeah, look at that. They're coming over here. Coming to these new spikes over here. 
I like it. Shoot Mo in the butt a couple times. He'll like that. He's dead. Man, they're dying on the spikes. Look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. He's dead. Got a spinner down there. I don't think I can hit him. There we go, I got him. Spinners seem to last forever, too. We got Mosev down here. Crawling Mosev now. And with counts, with console, is there's only, I think, 8 to 16 zombies that spawn in. I want to say it's like 16 is the max. Maybe, maybe 12. So... They cannot spawn in until you kill some. So, you know, if you if you, if you have no zombies at all or you hear them, they might be stuck on a rock sometimes. You got to go just go look for them. They took out they took out my flame, my my torch. That's not good. This guy's alive right here. That Kurt Goodness. Moe's going to eat up probably 20 arrows. Okay, he's dead. And we got another spinner. Crackhead spinner. All hyped up on his uh, pills. Oh, he's, he's gone. Another Mo. Come on. Oh, this is working out great. This is working out great. What's your guys' go-to uh, horde base on day seven? Let me know in the comments. Love to know. Uh, Beard made a good one in the contractor. A really good horde base for day seven. Man, look at all these zombies right here stacking up. Really good horde base for day seven. Um... Uh, or you could build one day seven and use it for the rest of the game, you know, to day 56 or something like that, you know, whatever. However far you guys go. Crackhead right here. If I can get him, he stops spinning. Goodness. God. Like, they become arrow sponges, you know, when they crawl like that. Okay, he's dead. All these spinners. <laughs> uh, love to know what causes that. Love to know it. Like the actual explanation for what causes the spinners. Another one died. A couple of them died right there. Got a spinner right below him. A couple spinners. I mean, pretty boring horde base, though. I mean, they're not going to get to you, and you get a bunch of crawlers, so it's not the most... I get... I'm shooting the torches, by the way, too. I just I just saw that. I'm shooting the torches. but So it's not the most, like, riveting horde base in the entire world. Like, I mean, I know it's probably not exciting to watch sit here and watch me shoot arrows all night, but it works. Man, I cannot shoot her. Are we done? Is that it? We might be done. I don't know that I'm shooting this guy or not. Yeah, I don't know. There's uh, something new over here, maybe. Or maybe the same guy. Trying to join his other crackhead friends. He's dead. Pick up this frame. If I can. There we go. Get a more clear shot. Let me take out Harold here. Be a good pipe bomb base too. Throw some pipe bombs down there. Whoa. 
Arrow didn't... Oh, I need to repair my bow. Let's just make a new bow. Make a new one. The way our level goes up a little bit. Level 196. Almost 200. Almost 200. Uh, we have four arrows left. Four iron arrows left. Okay, he's dead. I think this is our last one right here. It's a pretty easy horde, horde night. Oh, I hear that. Oh, we got this chick down here. I don't know if I'll be able to hit her or not. Let's uh take this one out. Oh, dead. Let's see if anybody else spawns in. I took zero damage that horde night. Zero damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, shot over his head. Come on, Harold. Show me what you got. You gotta be careful. That's why I don't like hopping down too early, because you can always have a couple spawn in late. Not that Harold wouldn't be too hard to deal with. But, you know, you're looting bodies, and then you get somebody run up behind you, and that's all you need. Took out my other torch. There we go. We got 15 skill points to spend. They sort of came... I mean, they came from the straight north. There's one. There's a nurse right here. Oh, I missed. Come on, pick a spot. There you go. Gone. Anybody else? Mosev's out there. That's, he's northwest. They're just throwing one at a time at me right now. Oh. Got him. Man. Can't hit a running zombie, I guess. Oh, I love the damage the spikes gives them. I love that free. It's all free damage. I love it. Make the zombies work for you. Oh, he's going to do spinning stuff. Come on, Mo. I can't hit him. Nope, can't hit him. Oh, I got him there. Oh, leave your butt right there, Mo. Oh, this sucks. Dang it, Mo. Oh my god, of course he's a bullet sponge. Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is insane. Oh my god, Mo. Jeez. He definitely is kind of the boss zombie in this alpha. You know, aside from the cop, of course. Oh! I think I got her in the head. I missed that one. Missed that one, too. Oh, come on. Hold still. Hey, daytime. Let's just hop down and deal with her then. Oh, they took out my, uh, whatchamacallit? My, my frames. Where's my, uh, club at? Let's bring down my club. I made a new club, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Bring that down. 
Oh, my first damage of the Horde Knight. Ow! Broken leg. Broken leg already. That's amazing. Hey, all right. Cool. We'll take that. Can I make a... What do you need? Um, splint. You need... Oh, you need cloth. I keep thinking plant fibers for some reason. I have cloth. We'll find some. We'll find some cloth. Bring down my bone knife. Harvest some bodies. Why not? We'll get some bone and some rotten flesh out of it. All right, painkillers, cool. Old sandwich, I'll pass for right now. Nothing. Glass pane, I'll pass. Hey, there's some cloth. Is that enough to make a splint? Yes, it is. We'll just craft a splint right now. We'll use. Thank you. Appreciate it. My first broken late of the series. This bay has been seven days since I've of this series. I haven't had one yet, so I guess I'll take that. Ow! A little bleeding damage there. That's all right. So we can find a way in and get these get these bodies here. Nothing there. Okay, that's fine. Get some animal fat too. We'll need that for recipes later on. Nerdy glasses and coffee. And I'm mistaken. You can plant coffee beans. You can you can you can plant those. So I think I said in one of the last episodes, you need coffee seed. No, you just need coffee beans. So I was one thing I I was corrected on by the community. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Always there to correct old Sparty. And I don't want to give out bad information. I definitely don't want to do that. Last thing I want to do is tell you guys something wrong. So, makes me look bad and all that stuff. So, no, definitely not trying to give you guys wrong information. I just had it backwards. So, some food. I'll pass. Nothing. Oh, come on. And if you're like, why are you harvesting these bodies with a knife? You can with a stone axe, but you won't get the rotten flesh and the bone. Let me see what you get here real quick. Uh, there's feathers. All you get is rotten flesh. You get the bone and the animal fat. I'm sorry. So you get the bone. And the bone's nice to make bone shivs. You can raise your weapon smithing, you know, doing that. Or you can make, if you need more glue to make duct tape, you can use bone and murky water. So duct tape, it does need it later on. Quite a bit, actually, for, you know, different weapons. So it's a good thing to harvest early on. Throw it in a box. You can always come back and get it later game when you really need it. Ow. Water. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Awesome. All the bodies. Oh, I got one more right there. Let's grab him. Oh, I got a couple more over here. Sweet. Nothing with ammo in it, though. Didn't see any ammo. Didn't get a ammo zombie. Ah, oh, bullet cases. That's kind of the ammo zombie, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to sort my inventory, kind of get everything put away, and then I think we'll go raid maybe that... Uh, do some raiding before we leave, maybe. Um, before we leave the city. And I don't know what direction I want to go. I might go up and grab that treasure. That might be a tough treasure to grab, though. But we have this road that leaves right here that probably goes towards the trader. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go up there and grab that road. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind seeing where this road goes. It probably goes south eventually and connects to that road. So I don't know. We need to discover all the roads anyway. So All right, guys. I'm done yapping. See you later. Bye.